Hey guys, this is Nate Jackson, and right now we're going to uh, go over the connect feature to make connections with Linked Engine. Uh, so what I have here, I've opened the file, uh, people I may know uh, that I that I uh, downloaded earlier, and we're going to find a few people for me to connect with. So the, the what I'm going to do is I'm going to first go over to the shared connections column, and I'm going to sort that by, from greatest to least. So that I find so I can find people that I have the most uh, number of connections with so I'm going to sort it that way and I'm just gonna upload it and gonna make a few connections here so let's see yeah so this is good I know I know these people but we're just not connected on LinkedIn so uh, Ellie Hunt I can't remember who that is so I'm not going to I'm gonna delete well I don't I don't know who that is. I uh, hopefully Ali Hunt's not listening. Anyway, so I think we may have had some common coworkers. But I recognize all these names, so I'm going to upload this list and show you how this works. So let me save this file. Actually, you know what? I'm going to not delete it, but I'm gonna cut it and just move that I'm just gonna uh put that somewhere in here and then paste it. I'll leave it there for later. And I'm going to delete this row. So what I recommend doing, I don't know, do it how you want, but just uh yeah, just do it how you want. But if you see someone who you don't recognize uh, because what LinkedIn does is they if you have a lot of people that you invite to connect and they don't accept your connection, after a certain point LinkedIn will require you to input their email address for you to send them a connection so it's best to connect, try to connect with people that you have the most chance of being accepted with so that's one one thing that you need to be aware of when you're connecting to folks so I'm going to save this now and go ahead and close it so okay so I'll close that and now so we're going to go to the connect module and so where connection is activated and you need to upload a list of people to connect with choose your timing settings set your green and click the start button okay so we're going to upload the list that I just created it's, you see it's 442 in the morning and so this number is for the total number of connections you want to make in a day this number is for the timing of how often you want to send a connection request. So right now I have it at 30 seconds, but it should really be, I'm just doing this for the purposes of a demonstration. You should really space it out to like I don't know, three to five minutes or something like that. This is the total number of connections you want to make in a certain period in a, in a, in a batch before you take a break. And this is the length of the break that you want to take. So right now, this is saying I'm going to send 100 requests every 30 seconds, half a minute. Uh, send 20, and then take a 60-minute break. And then send 20 more, or take a 60-minute break. So you have the option of inputting a custom greeting when you do a connection. I'll show you here. So let's see, somebody that I don't know. Let's go to... Uh, network people you may know and let's say if I went to his I don't know this guy but if I went to his site and I clicked connect then you have an option of inputting a greeting here or you can just leave it as it is and then it'll click the button and you also have to pick one of the ways that you know them so what if you want to customize this message you can do that right here in the input your message box and you can type it type it and it'll appear here and you can also customize it with uh, first name you can put their first name or you can put bracket and this is the square bracket first name closing square bracket or square bracket full name square bracket and it will put their it will attempt to put their first name and it will put their full name if they have a funny kind of name 
not a funny name, but if they have a name that includes more than two uh, words, then it'll have trouble with the first name because they could be Dr. something, Dr. James or Dr. John or Dr. Jill or Dr. Joan. Or if they have a bunch of um, like uh, degree certifications at the end, like MBA, PhD, MD, uh, DDS, or Esquire, something like that, then it will have trouble doing the first name because the way LinkedIn does it, they only give you two fields for the name. So if they are a doctor and they want to put doctor in their title, their first name will have to be input as doctor so-and-so. And their last name will have to be Smith, comma, MD, PhD, DDS, or whatever, MBA. So it makes it difficult to determine what their actual first name is. Plus, if they're a doctor, you probably want to address them as a doctor anyway if you're going to be sending them a greeting if you're not a, like a close friend. So I put this text box here if you're going to be this checkbox checkbox if you're going to be connecting with a lot of doctors and lawyers and people with titles and reverends and things like that if you check this box then every time it goes to someone it will prompt you for how you want to refer to them so it'll give you a little a box and you can input exactly what you want to substitute for first name so anyway I'll show you how that works and I'll We'll just go through it. So I've uploaded my list, and so I'm not going to click that right now. I'm going to click that for the next one. So click Start, and it's going to start inviting the people in my list. So here we go. So I don't type anything. It's just going to do the default. And it'll pick friend uh, because if you if you uh, you'd have to input this manually uh, for each person differently if you didn't, and otherwise it would be kind of so it's going to pick friend so it, it doesn't really matter. So right now it's not going to change anything. So that invitation was sent. So this time I'm going to say hi space op uh, bracket first name close bracket and it's going to put the first name of the next person I'll say please accept my connection request so you'll see it'll substitute the first name yeah, so it'll substitute first name with joy. So, just give it a second, it's going to go to the next page. Let's just watch down here and include a personal note. So see there, hi Joy, please accept my connection request. Okay, so this one I'm going to click the so invitation to Joy sent. So now I'm going to click the checkbox and it's going to prompt me to input their name. And it will substitute whatever I input into first name. So we'll see what I put in there and it's going to substitute for first name. So five seconds. So I'm going to put Ms. T Town, Mrs. Town. So prompt will appear asking me how I want to refer to Beatrice. Mm. 
Okay, see that here? How do you want to refer to Beatrice? So I'll put Mrs. Town. And there it is. Hi, Mrs. Town. Please accept my connection request. So you have different options. And if you wanted to change first name to full name, all one word, uh, then it'll put their full name by default. So I'll show you that. Two seconds. All right, so it's going to go to the next page. It'll say, Hi, Stephen Martin. See, there it is. So that's how <clears throat> the connection uh, function works. So we're going to go on to send messages, and I'll see you in the next video.